Valley, Germany, the toughest tarmac test of the season. An extreme mix of different asphalt surfaces, bumpy vineyard tracks, daunting multi-surface military roads and fast, smooth country lanes. Even more challenging when it rains and that always happens at some point. Short but strong rain showers can appear out of nowhere and significantly complicate tyre choice. More than 100 kilometres on the intimidating Panzerplatte tank training tracks featuring famous jumps and car-breaking Hinkelstein curbstones. A famous test of driver and machine, Panzerplatte's roads send a chill down the spine. They have everything. Tortuous twists and turns, fast and smooth asphalt, rough and broken concrete and even cobbles. Add in those hefty Hinkelsteins and there's plenty to catch out even the world's best. Germany is viewed as one of the most difficult asphalt encounters in the WRC. The drivers must work well with their safety or gravel crews who drive the stages ahead of competitors to provide up-to-date information about the road conditions. Unpredictable weather makes tyre choice really tricky. The roads on military training ground called the Panzerplatte or Armour Flat are made of rough concrete and surrounded by the dangerous Hinkelsteins. Rocks up to a metre in size lining either side of the road as a restraint for military vehicles. And when the roads are dusty in the dry or wet in the rain, this is a treacherous part of Rally Germany. The stages are fast and the vast military grounds offer endless spectator points, including the legendary crest known as Gina. On this terrain, even the smallest of driving or pace note error tends to lead to serious consequences. Finally, the asphalt roads in the rural northern part are fast with high speed curves only interrupted by some tight turns onto smaller country lanes. But the vineyard roads that snake through the terraced Mosel landscape are a tough test, particularly on the brakes. First held in 1982, the rally was originally part of the European Championship. It relocated to Trier in 2000 and joined the WRC calendar in 2002. Citroën won every Rally Deutschland since it entered WRC from 2002 to 2013. The unbeatable Sebastian Loeb took nine victories in Germany, with one each for Sebastian Ogier and Danny Sordo, until Hyundai's Thierry Neuville topped the podium in 2014. In 2019, the rally is both longer and shorter. While the competitive distance has increased to 343.95 kilometers, the liaison sections have actually been shortened. We kick off the action mainly in the country roads before the spotlight shifts to the military tracks. All about the afternoon's Baumholder military stages, as well as the fearsome Hinkelsteins and of course the Gina jump that always proves a spectacular moment with cars often clearing up to 40 metres in the air. Great growers have to be both strong and patient when the WRC comes to town. Rows of vines are regularly victim to overambitious drivers, but it's all part of what makes Rally Germany so special.